Hey guys, uh, it's been a while since I made a video. Um, this one is not really computer related, but it uh, does use a computer card in it. We are using power supply in here. Um, basically, the reason I made this video was kind of twofold. Uh, this summer, or actually early fall, I decided to upgrade the stereo in my truck. Uh, not having the money to go out and buy brand new stuff, I was looking in Craigslist, you know, looking at amps, speakers, stuff like that. Um, found a lot of stuff for sale, but the problem is not being able to test anything. Uh, we live out in the boonies, so we're, you know, a good 60, 70 miles from any city big enough to buy, like, stereo equipment, stuff like that. And it's a long ways to drive if you go out there and you buy something used and uh, it doesn't work. So uh, basically I created this unit so I could take it with me if I do go out of town to test equipment. I'll be able to test amps, uh, speakers, subs, head unit, whatever. Um, basically just uh, some spare parts I had laying around. Some cheap Pioneer speakers, uh, old dual 12-inch uh, sub that I actually got with this box at one time from a guy and the box was uh, basically wrong size, wrong dimension, everything for the sub. So I revamped the box to make it fit right. I got a uh, Jensen. I think that's a ALX 2000 amp on there which runs about 200 watts. Pioneer head unit. This uh, that's about 200 also it's 50 watts times 4 max so it probably puts out more like 100 but uh, it's a nice uh, nice head unit good enough for the speakers and then I'm using the amp just to run the sub. But the main thing is here I'm just doing this on a power supply right now. I have one uh, 12 volt Molex lead and I basically have one end of it hooked here to the head unit to power that and then one to the uh, amplifier itself to power that. Uh, the main reason I wanted to post this is there's so much information on the uh, on YouTube and on the internet that's just plain wrong. Um, I've seen people ask questions about hooking up a stereo to a uh, power supply so they could run it in their house and people are saying you know you need 800 watts a thousand watts whatever now this is the um, Seasonic G series this is the one I just got in the donation box Let's see if I can turn this here this is a 350 watt power supply so this is not some big heavy-duty gaming machine or something this is running the amp it's running the head unit and uh, speakers um, for right now running it off the power supply I just have to have the one uh, 110 volt plug in to uh, put juice to it to test the equipment and stuff but I could also and I plan to uh, make a couple of these Molex connectors and just use a long cable and a uh, couple of alligator clips so I'd be able to hook it right to the battery of a car and uh, be able to check stuff uh, mobily also. A lot of times people want to meet in public places, you know, like a Burger King parking lot, whatever, somewhere where you might not have power. But uh, just to give you an example of how this works, um, I'm using my line in jack here, I actually had uh, cut a uh, microphone cable and used it to my uh, RCA is to run it in so that I could uh, you know use my uh, phone for uh, test test tones uh, that kind of stuff okay oh, there we go I got some uh, I got a 50 hertz 55 hertz 60 hertz test tones on here for uh, testing the subs see how low they'll go and see how much they can take uh, I'll just play a little audio track on here so you can uh, hear what it sounds like. Okay, so this little demo here. I'm going to play uh, I Love I Love Your Bass, I think it's called by Bass Tronics, just to give you an idea of what it sounds like. Okay, I'm not sure how well the uh, 
camera is going to pick that up. Uh, cameras don't do real well with music, but uh, basically good enough. Um, it's a good idea even for uh, people that are maybe looking to build a garage stereo or maybe something for their basement or bedroom. Um, car audio stuff is so cheap right now and it's a lot cheaper than home stereo equipment. If you had to go out and buy a four or five hundred dollar Ken or four or five hundred watt Kenwood system or something like that you're gonna pay a lot of money for it versus these head units you can find online fifty to a hundred bucks used subs you know thirty to fifty dollars you can really build a a pretty decent uh, home stereo out of one of these for around a hundred dollars give or take depending on whether you have the power supply or maybe you have speakers or whatever already like this stuff was just stuff I had hanging around so I really didn't put any money into it but uh, good enough for testing stuff and uh, once I add the uh, 12 volt hook up to it I'll just use more uh, fan connectors and cut them off so I can plug right into the Molexes and uh, then we'll be portable with 12 volt also but anyway that's going to be it for this video I just wanted to share that with you guys if uh, you have any questions about hooking it up or whatever uh, just let me know thanks for watching